Tonight, an NBC 10 exclusive, the kidnapping of Carlisha Gaither Freeland captivated our region. Her abduction caught on camera and the manhunt to find her followed minute by minute. Now, 10 years later, she's speaking publicly for the first time. What she remembers about those three days in captivity, who she credits with saving her life, and how she feels now about the man who kidnapped her. Good evening, I'm Fred Shropshire. The story of Carlisha Gaither Freeland dominated headlines a decade ago. Tonight, she's the one telling her story. Investigative reporter Claudia Vargas has our NBC 10 exclusive. The chilling video of Carlisha Gaither Freeland being snatched off the street as she walked home terrified her region 10 years ago. A manhunt ensued. Carlisha's family begged the public for information. I don't believe that this was just a random kidnapping. It was. Carlisha was found in Maryland three days later. She was in a vehicle with Delvin Barnes. I want to scream. Barnes later pleaded guilty to kidnapping. He was sentenced to 35 years in prison. Since then, Carlisha has been piecing her life back together. She is now a mom to a seven-year-old boy. We haven't really heard much about you for a decade now, so how are you doing? I'm doing fine. At times during our interview, emotions were raw. That you tried um, befriending your kidnapper um, in order to, I think, stay alive, would you say? Yes. Sorry. Carlisha is now speaking out in hopes that her story can help others. I'm hoping that, you know, that parents, family members who have somebody also out there who's going through this right now have faith. Where do you think you're going? Her kidnapping is the focus of a new Lifetime movie premiering Saturday. It's called Abducted Off the Street, The Carlisha Gaither Story. Carlisha tells us that from the moment Barnes grabbed her, she wanted to leave clues for police. I figured maybe if, if I just leave my phone, since I'm pretty sure it was going to get taken away from me, that somebody knew I was on my way home. And sure enough, Dwayne Fletcher saw her get kidnapped and used her phone to call 911. If it wasn't for him, I don't think I would be here today. As police searched for her in the car that took her, Carlisha offered her captor her ATM card. Police got a notification and found the surveillance video. Just try to give them as much proof that I'm still here. That you're still alive. Yeah. Carlisha still remembers how particular Barnes was about what they kept in the car. He just wanted his cell phone there, um, his zip ties, hammer, knife, things like that. Multiple zip ties? Oh. Were you tied the whole time? I was tied up for the first day and a half. She says he then cut her ties, but would still put her in the trunk. I felt more safe in the trunk. Three days after her abduction, she was rescued in Maryland. Police put Carlisha and her family in Philly on the phone. Do you remember your first words to them, what you said? I think I cried more than I talk, to be honest, but just I love them. Yeah. And what was that first hug like when you got to actually see them? After Carlisha was reunited with her family at a hospital in Maryland, she went home. I still feel like I'm putting my life together, to be honest. Um, I still get scared at times, but I really try to stay very strong because I now have a son. And I just try to stay strong for him. For the investigators, Claudia Vargas, NBC 10 News. And Carlisha also told us part of her recovery and moving on has meant forgiving Barnes. She said everybody has a second chance to become a better person.